The main three properties of lines and angles. Property 1. The angles on a line are supplementary. We covered this before. A straight angle has an angle of 180 degrees. So however it is divided, the sum of all the divisions add back to 180 degrees. Property 2. When two lines intersect, the opposite angles are equal. What do I mean by opposite angles? Here, angle A and angle C are opposite, and angle B and angle D are opposite. This property builds on the first. Consider these two lines that intersect. We are given that this angle is equal to 35 degrees. From what we learned in the first property of lines and angles, if we ignore the bottom part of this line for a second, we can calculate the size of this angle. We know that both angles add to 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus 35 degrees is equal to 145 degrees. So this angle is equal to 145 degrees. By the same logic, this angle is equal to 145 degrees also. And to find the last angle, we can use the exact same logic. We can also draw upon our powers of memory and recall that they are 360 degrees in a complete turn or rotation. Either way, we will get that the final angle is equal to 35 degrees. Thus proven that opposite angles are equal. Parallel lines and transversals. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the corresponding angles are equal. In this diagram, the corresponding angles are color coded. We are saying that angle A is equal to angle W, angle B is equal to angle X, angle C is equal to angle Y, and angle D is equal to angle Z. I'll show you this proof in a separate video. Remember, when two lines intersect, the opposite angles, for example, A and C, and X and Z, are equal. Combining opposite angles and corresponding angles gives this diagram. We see that angles A, C, W, and Y all have the same size. And angle B, D, X, and Z have the same size. This directly leads to the definitions of the sizes of alternate angles and interior angles. Alternate angles are equal. What are alternate angles? When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate angles are on the inside of the parallel lines but on opposite sides of the transversal. Thus, C and W are alternate angles, D and X are also alternate angles. Based on what we learned before, it is clear that alternate angles are equal. D is equal to X and angle C is equal to angle W. Interior angles, on the other hand, are on the inside of the parallel lines but on the same side of the transversal. We should be able to tell that angle W and angle D are supplementary. Similarly, angle C and angle X are also supplementary. Interior angles are supplementary. We can use these rules to solve problems. Let's go through a few examples. What is the size of the angle X? We know that a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 45 degrees plus angle X gives 180 degrees. Which gives that angle X is equal to 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. Angle X is equal to 135 degrees. A second example, what are the sizes of the unknown angles? 
we want to find out the size of angle A, size of angle B, and the size of angle C. Just as we did in the first example, if we consider just the 110 degrees angle and angle A, we know that they both add up to 180 degrees. So angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. Angle A is equal to 70 degrees. And we know this because a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. Or, as the first property says, the angles on a line are supplementary. Then angle B, we can use the same logic, given that we know that angle A is 70 degrees, we can find out what angle B is. Angle A and angle B are supplementary. Or, as the second rule says, opposite angles are equal. So you can use either of those two rules to figure it out. Angle B is equal to 110 degrees. Opposite angles are equal. And angle C? Angle C is opposite to angle A, so we know it's 70 degrees. Angle C added to angle B, or angle C added to 110 degrees will give you 180, so we know that angle C is equal to 180 minus 110 is equal to 70 degrees. So we could write down any one of these rules. Also, we know that there are 360 degrees in a complete turn or rotation. So if we take 360 and we minus 110, 110 and 70, we also get 70 degrees. Example 3. What is the size of angle A? We know that there's 360 degrees in a complete turn or rotation. Therefore, Angle A is equal to 360 degrees minus 160 degrees minus 65 degrees. Angle A is equal to 135 degrees. Example 4. What is the size of angle X? Any of the rules would lead us towards the answer. For instance, we know that the sum of the angles on a line is equal to 180 degrees, which means that this angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 110. This angle is equal to 70 degrees. Combining that with our knowledge that corresponding angles are equal, we will get that angle X is equal to 70 degrees as well. Conversely, we could have used corresponding angles being equal to know that this angle here is 110 degrees. 110 plus 70 would give 180, given that x is equal to 70 degrees. Also, we could have used the fact that alternate angles are equal. 110 gives this angle here as 110, and we know that 110 plus x is equal to 180, given x is equal to 70 degrees. So we know that x is equal to 70 degrees using any one of the methods I identified a minute ago. Example 5. What are the sizes of the unknown angles? We have two parallel lines. It's cut by this transversal here, and it's cut by another transversal. So we can use either one to find the answers we're looking for. Considering these two parallel lines cut by this transversal, angle A and angle 45 degrees are alternate angles. We know that alternate angles are equal. So we know that angle A is equal to 45 degrees. Alternate angles are equal. And angle B, considering the two parallel lines and this transversal, we see that angle B and angle 75 degrees are corresponding angles. We know that corresponding angles are equal. So angle B is equal to 75 degrees. Corresponding angles are equal. I am Mr. Dubey. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.